We are delighted to welcome the one and only Reese Darby back to the cafe. Reese is here to tell us all about Mystic Time Bird, his New Zealand tour, which he will be showcasing around the country this July and August. It is, it is great to have you here, Reese. It is, isn't it? It is really nice. Yep. Have we? Because last time you were on with us, it was a year ago. Yes. We, we've obviously got a lot more professional. You've yes. noticed that? Have you noticed? Yeah. Did you go and do a course or something? Did we did. Today, how to be professional on TV. Right. But you were here with um, did Grant. Did you read Lobin. an outdated book? I did. <laughs> That's exactly what we did. Oh, good. Um, you were here with Grant Lobin yes. because you're talking about your recently granted tour. Then, yes. because you've done it 20, 20 years ago 20 together. 20 years in comedy. Yeah. You. I mean, it was an absolute train wreck. But I mean that in the best <laughs> yeah. possible way. There was lollies all over the oh, floor. I'm we sorry. ate. Those lollies for the rest of the really? year. Really? Yeah. We did. Wow. Um, have you caught up with Grant since you've been back? Yes, of course. It's the first thing I do. Uh, we're, we're close mates, um, and I'm here for a, a wedding of another mate. So um, you know. That's a perfect reason to come back. No, yeah. it is good, and, and also see... promote your tour at the same time. Yes. Why not? Yeah. yeah. No. Well, that's uh, you brought the whole family. How was LA treating you anyway? Oh, it's very well. You know, yeah. there's a lot of lot of good work on. Uh, the weather's good. Um, it's a bit dull. You know. So <laughs> Does it? Does it get well, dull? Well, you know, when you've got the same sort of. Uh, weather every single day. <laughs> right. You, look, you open the curtains. Oh, it's sunny again. Yay. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've enjoyed coming back here and having the the four seasons kind of to deal with. You exactly. Know. The oh, traditional yeah. New Zealand yeah. summer, which yeah. is rainy a lot of the time. So wear, you wear a jumper and also togs and one jandal, one boot. You know, and, <laughs> That's right. And yeah. Sorted. So you Pretty much nail it. Um, do you get involved with the whole sort of the you know the whole the all the um, ceremonies around at the moment, the Oscars and the SAGs and everything? Do you get involved with all of that? No. No. Not. Really. Really, it's not my cup of tea. Yeah. Mm. You could be though, couldn't you? One day I might get invited. <laughs> yeah. I, One if day. I, if I keep doing good. Yeah, no, well, yeah. you always do do good. Um, the boys, I hear, your two boys, mm. Finn was superb before, by the way, mm. um, uh, they've both started in a bit of showbiz too, haven't they? Well, not really. I mean, they do, you know, it's not really their forte. Um, right. I mean, they're very young. They, um, I think they're, they're sort of interested. They, 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 they look at me and they think, oh, that's an easy way to make money. Yeah. Um, <laughs> if Dad can do it, I can mm, do it. Mm. Yeah, They've done some voiceover work, actually, right, on, on right. the show Voltron, which is on Netflix. Um, and they both played younger versions of me and absolutely nailed it, I've got to be honest. So, yeah, maybe, maybe they will end up doing it. There is something there. Yeah. yeah, and I think Finn is with Holly right now. Yeah, yeah, I, I'm with Finn. So, um, is, is Dad funny at home? You could say he is, but I, I wouldn't think so. <laughs> I thought he was supposed to be in the car. So as you can see, he's a good actor. <laughs> <laughs> They must get asked if their dad's funny all the time. Um, but you've been you've been a super busy man at the moment, haven't you? I mean, I want to talk about your tour. We want to talk about that in a mm. minute, obviously. Mm -hmm. That's why you're here. Mm. But I, you stumbled across my <laughs> screens all the time lately. I was on a Qantas flight the other day. You were there, Flight of the Concords, Murray. Yes. Lemony Snicket. I've started watching that on Netflix. Mm. And you're turning up in some episodes later on, I see. Yes, I keep working. Uh, I think it's a healthy thing if you want to, <laughs> if you want to <laughs> keep earning that money. Um, but yeah, I think um, I've been lucky that I've been able to um, appear in, in many interesting things. Lemony Snicket is a very yeah. cool series. Um, and Neil Patrick Harris is in mm -hmm. it. Don Johnson. You're in with yes. Don Johnson. Funny story, Don Johnson uh, was my boss in the show. Uh, so, and his character name was Sir, so I just called him Sir. And I used to, uh, I mean, if you've seen the show, I'm not sure, but... Um, I, I, he jumps on the back of my rickshaw and I'm kind of riding him around. I'm a bit like Smithers, you know, from The Simpsons, <laughs> basically. I cook him his food. I'm basically his slave. Uh, but he treats me well. As, you know, he's an 80s icon. It was so amazing yeah, yeah. to work with, you know, uh, the guy from Miami Vice. I know. You know? Well, that's exactly so, it. And how I, weird having him on your rickshaw. I mean, oh. do you sit there and think this is a weird moment? No, I... Look, the, the amount of things I've done, I, I'm not surprised, uh, you know, Crazy things mm. happen to me, and I've just, I just, just assume that that's normal now. I don't know what the new normal is. So, so obviously going overseas has been a good move for you, hasn't it? Would you ever want to come back here? Because the comedy scene in this country continues to grow. Mm. But is there enough work for you to be based here? Do you think? I don't think so. No, right. and I think I feel like I'm an Earthling, and I was planted on this planet to you know, flourish, uh, and, and I think that means that I have to travel and, and see the world, and you know, we only get a limited time on That's the planet. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. New Zealand will always be here. If I come home, you know, quite, quite a few long. times a year, <laughs> yeah. as you guys know, I'm back <laughs> yeah. again. Yeah. So I'm not, you know, and this is the greatest country in the world, yeah. absolutely, um, but I, I, I feel as though um, 
you know, I need to sort of get my message to the, a wider audience. Share your gifts. Yeah, can't Share be on your my gifts. gifts. I don't no, blow my own trumpet. Yeah, yeah no, no, I can, I can sense that. Yeah. But you, you, you know. can't be on Lemony Snicket and things like Jumanji exactly. and yeah. also no, I can't all those sort of things. Uh, you, yeah. And have Don Johnson yeah, yeah, on your rickshaw. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Him in New Zealand. It's a bit dull, isn't it? Well, we are. <laughs> <laughs> we are going to talk about your tour in just a minute, OK? Uh, so don't go anywhere. We're going to give you all the details about Reese's show that is coming up very soon, straight after this. I think the Olympics, too much emphasis on winning, you know? <laughs> what about the losers? There's more people losing than there are winning. Yeah, yeah what about those guys? Come on. I reckon the last three of every event should have a podium. <laughs> but the opposite, so theirs go down. So third to last, they're, they're, they're uh, two foot down underneath the ground, two foot down. <laughs> Second to last, another, another three foot deeper, deeper down, oh, terrible. And then last, fully six foot under the ground, <laughs> can barely see the, the Earth's crust. <laughs> Love it. oh, that's actually quite a good idea. Uh, that was at last year's Comedy Gala. Back with Reese Darby now. Reese, you were mm. here to talk about your new tour, which is coming out. You're going around July, August, coming yes. back to the country. Mystic Time Bird. Yes. What the? Well, uh, that's a cool title. Um, <laughs> I haven't written it yet, so we'll see. <laughs> no, basically, when I was in uh, Hawaii, I was, I was shooting uh, Jumanji, uh, this film. It's a small project. And. Uh, <laughs> The name you just dropped there. I, I was kind of overwhelmed with everything that's been happening in my life, and I, I felt a bit disillusioned. So I went to visit a mystic in the forest, and he told me that in my previous life I was a bird. Wow. And so then I started having freaky dreams, and then <laughs> uh, this is what this comedy show is all about. It's about, you know. I'm loving it already. Yeah. Yeah. Did you say what kind of bird? <laughs> yes, but I can't reveal that till the show because that's a big. Ah, right. It's, it was an issue. A flightless bird or a flightless <laughs> bird? I'm not going to reveal. You have to see the show. I'm, I'm touring uh, 18 towns in New Zealand, the biggest tour I've ever done. So every few wow. years I'll do a stand-up tour. It's still my bread and butter. It's still what I really love, connecting with my audience in, in a live setting and, and just being crazy, being silly, uh, improvising and also, you know, doing a well... Uh, crafted, constructed show. Which you haven't crafted or constructed quite well, just yet. Well, I kind of have. Some people have probably <laughs> already seen me this year just trying out material. I, I came in here, was it this year I came earlier? Last year it was. I, 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 I tried out some new stuff. Right. Um, and just to, just to gauge, because I don't go down to, uh, you know, um, open mic nights or anything these days. I, I just kind of, um, uh, I, I develop it all on the road. So yeah, I have, I have. It's 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 coming along quite nicely. And you do these sneaky little shows, and you see who laughs yeah, and who doesn't that's laugh. That's right. Yeah, take notes. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. the kind of person <laughs> I want laughing. No, you didn't laugh. That's fine. Well, I even come out with my material on pieces of paper, and I here's some ideas, and I'll and I'll and I'll do them, and then you just sort of gauge the responses from it and, and things like that, and um, yeah, and then so if you have seen that last year, then this year is the fully developed show that will, will hit the uh, theatres in July. Nice. And I love that you're going all around New Zealand, as you do, because you know, the Kiwis love you. Is it nice when you get on the stage in New Zealand? You, know, you come from these big movies. It's the best. Yeah? Because you, yeah, I'm home, you know, and, and, and these are my people, and we share the same sense of humour and the same highs and lows about life, and, uh, yeah, there's nothing better than being home and, and doing your material to, to your own people. And uh, uh, do people laugh differently in, in Chicago than they do in Auckland? I don't mean, like, physically laugh um, differently. <laughs> Not really. No, I think nationwide uh, we're we're all the same. All the same. Yeah, okay, we cool. have the Kiwi sense of humour. Everybody right. laughs at Auckland, though. Let's yeah. be honest. Everyone does. Laughs at Auckland. At Auckland. Yeah, yeah. Do they? Okay. Out of the country. There you go. There's a tip you can use that in your show. You're welcome. <laughs> Thanks for the tips. Yeah. She's going to have hosting. a whole page full of them. <laughs> what are these papers? They've got papers, everyone. <laughs> you don't need all that. Just, just feel confident and say what's in the. The words that are in the camera. <laughs> Don't tell them that. <laughs> Anyone can do that. <laughs> um, and, and you know, Team Darby. Yep. Team Darby is your entire family, isn't it? Because Rosie, your beautiful wife, she mm. she runs you. Yeah, she runs, <laughs> she runs me them. over. Yeah. <laughs> she literally she's does. She's the reason I'm here now. <laughs> there she is yeah, over she, there. She's uh, she's quite demanding. Now it's uh, look, we are a team. You've got yeah. to get uh, you know the business going and. Um, I'm, I'm self-employed, I guess, you know. Uh, uh, I say self-employed. She, she employed me. 
uh, <laughs> by marrying me. Mm. And uh, you know, and and you know, we um, yeah, we we actually enjoy working together because not only is she a uh, great producer, mm -hmm. but uh, she's very, very smart and very witty. Nice. And we often uh, work on material together. And, uh, you know, so... Contract negotiation. One of your good stuff yeah. is actually Rosie's good stuff. Yeah. Well, I'm, uh, she'll say it is. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I think, yeah. yeah, we definitely work together as a team. Because you did a show um, recently, which we haven't got in our screens, called Wrecked, and you mm. went and filmed in Puerto Rico, where you were away for two months. And because you're away from wife and family for two months, did you have a little, little existential crisis, like a little bit of a midlife crisis? In Puerto Rico, mm. uh, yes, yeah, I, I bought a BMX. <laughs> <laughs> That's very messy. And I, and I, yeah, and I, and I rode around like uh, on these random beaches, uh, trying to do stunts and stuff in front of kids. And I think they thought I was a bit creepy. Uh, <laughs> I tried to join an actual BMX gang. They said, was, I, they said no one over 16. I said, oh, come on! And, uh, yeah, but I don't know. I, I, I'm very much in touch with my youth, and nice. I think that's one of the things that... Probably the, for me is the uh, the secret to longevity and 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 loving life is that you know you don't feel as though you're getting old. We do feel that we're getting older with our creaks and our you know um, old man noises, pains yeah. oh, and things like that. Yeah, yeah but yeah. Uh, it doesn't mean the soul gets any older. And nice. I think that's uh, another part of the show is is um, you know being that person that you've always been throughout the many lives you've had and and you you know. Sounds fascinating. Oh, okay. Yeah, no. Yeah. Right. Look, I, we love it when you come here, and you brought the whole family today, which we have appreciated as well. Mystic Time Bird by Reese Darby. It takes place from Whangarei and Invercargill and all the other places in between. It's a huge tour over July and August. Check out his website for ticket details. Okay, Holly, over to you.